Matthew 1 and verse 1. Mark 1 and verse 1. Luke 1 and verse 1. John 1 and verse 1. Matthew, the, the book of the generation of Jesus Christ, son of David, the son of Abraham. Mark 1 1, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the son of God. Luke 1 1, for as much as many have taken in the hand and set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us. John 1 and 1 says in the beginning. It was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. I want to talk this morning about why for gospel. Why? For gospel. Uh, let, let me start off uh, first of all saying first of all, all of us are different. Uh, all of us are different. We got different ideals, different ways of life, and different thoughts. We uh, I, I, I don't care. You can come up in the same house. Amen. Be raised by the same parent. Eat at the same table. Go to the same school, but you'll turn out different. We, we all different. We dress different. Amen. So, so, so some of you like the, 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 the red dress, and some of you like the blue dress. And, and we are different in so many ways. We drive different cars. Some folks got Cadillacs, some black Oldsmobile, some black Mercedes. But I discovered the only thing a car can really do is get you from point A to point B. But we got so many different cars because we are different. Uh, yes, we are even different in our church. Yes, we are. We, we, we're different in our churches. But there are some churches so quiet, you can hear a neck sneeze. <laughs> yet, yet there are others that don't mind being a part of the noise. If you don't mind making a drop for noise unto the Lord. It, it's all because we are And some of you so fair boy, you spend your money, my money, and my money. It, 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 it's all because we are different. Some young men start out early in life looking for the right misright. But yet there's a bunch of dudes that they play with everybody they run from because we are all different. We, we're different. Like so with these gospel writers. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Now I know somebody asked me, why the number four? Why, why, why God didn't use five, six, seven, eight gospel writers? I don't know when you get to heaven, you ask. Hey, hey, man, but all I know, he left Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John to write about the life, his life. Okay. Right. Well, 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 I, I, I suggest it, it, it could have been because, first of all, he, he could have chosen the number four because, first of all, I heard the center around the number four. There, there are four directions. North, south, east, and west. There, there, there are four Seasons when it comes to climate. Now, this related to our world, spring, 
autumn, summer, and winter. Uh, they, they're forever disconnected with our world, earth, air, fire, and water. Uh, there have been four great empires, uh, the Babylonians, the Persians, the Greeks, and the Romans. Uh, He says, I'm now ready to be honest. Right. I have kept the faith. Oh, yeah. I fought yeah. a good fight. I have finished my course. Right. The early church did four things. They fasted, they prayed, they laid hands on, and they sent men out. There have even been four directions suggested where we will enter into that new Jerusalem one day. So somebody suggested that there are three gates in the east, the three gates in the west, the three gates in the north, and three gates in the south. Twelve gates to that beautiful city. So, so, so since our earth seems to be centered around the number four, no wonder, no wonder, no wonder, no wonder. The Lord chose for gospel writers to write about the birth, the life, the death, the burial, the resurrection, and the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. Matter of fact, Revelation 4 and 7 kind of gives us the hint to what the four writers were really trying to say or represent. He says, I saw an angel with four faces. The face of a lion, of a young ox, of a man, and of an eagle. Matthew wrote to the tribe of Judah, linking Jesus to the tribe of Judah, which the lion represents. Mark wrote to the Romans, presenting Christ as a suffering servant. That's the young ox. And Luke says he's the son of man. That's the face of a man. And John said he's the son of God. Matthew, Mark, and Luke kind of links him with the earth. But where the eagle flies above the earth, John takes him a little bit higher. Allow me to separate these boys for just a little while. Matthew, a tax collector, had a tax office. Matthew was hated by the Jews because he was considered to be a traitor because he worked for the Roman government. It, it, it was Matthew who wrote to prove that Jesus was hated without a cause. Uh, 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 Matthew, uh, he seems to connect the Old Testament with the New Testament. Uh, Y'all do know, see, the Old conceals, but the New reveals. The, the Old contains, but the New explains. The, the Old Testament preaches, but the New Testament produced. The, the, the Old Testament prophesied, but the New Testament proclaimed. Matthew links the Old with the New. Right. Matthew, one of the key words throughout Matthew's God, you find that he said it was done that the scripture might be fulfilled. Uh, yes, that, 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 that the scripture might be fulfilled. Matthew says he was born in Bethlehem. Michael 5 and 2 say he shall be born in Bethlehem. Malachi 3 and 1 describes the arrival of Jesus that John the Baptist will come and make, prepare the way for him. Well, well, Matthew said John did come making the paths straight. Matthew gives Jesus 
a king's name by saying he shall be called Emmanuel. Yeah. He gives him a king announcement by saying, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Yeah. Gives him a king's respect by saying, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shall thou serve. Yeah. Gives him a king's victory by sacrifice because he meant to say he was crucified and he rose from the dead. Yeah. Now, 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 now the book of Matthew mm -hmm. it's kind of like a textbook in its totality. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of like sitting in a classroom because Matthew connects teaching will preach. Yeah, man, 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 Matthew, he, he the next teaching will preach. And, and Matthew 5 1 says, And seeing the multitude, he went up, and when he was set into a mountain, he, and when he was set, he opened his mouth and talked. Yeah. We call it the Sermon on the Mount. But it could really be called the Lesson on the Mount. And, 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 and like we need preachers, we also need. Teach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You just see, preach will bring us out of the world. Uh -huh. But teach uh -huh. will bring the world out of us. Oh, yes. We need preaching and teaching. Yes. You, you can tell the folks that just been just been preaching and no teaching. Yes. They, 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 couldn't get it. They, they couldn't get they couldn't get on 
the ship right. So Jesus said, well, let me tell you this. There's the sheep and there's the goats. And in that day, the goats, let me make it plain, the goats head in the head. And the sheep, they going to be with me. Okay? Simple as but. He wanted to explain it to them. So the real question I might want to ask you today, are you a sheep? Or are you a... Hello. Matthew stresses the teaching ministry of Jesus by power. There are two miracles that's only found in Matthew's gospel. Y'all remember in chapter 9, the two blind men that ran behind Jesus, grandson of David, have mercy on us. And in chapter 17, y'all remember about the tax money when the internal revenue was looking for Jesus in the ball today. And they had a tax time, y'all. And, and, and Peter told Jesus told Peter to go down to, to the seaside and, and, and get the fish and look in his mouth and get the money and pay. Now, now, some of y'all don't need that now. But but God can use anything to provide for his children. But that's only found in Matthew gospel. Matthew presents Jesus' actions as a kingly Messiah. All right. Because he will, he worked, and his ways were like that of a king. Now, now, I, I, I'm going to hear it. Y'all said, don't worry, I'm going back to Texas to see as soon as I get through. <laughs> Mark different than Matthew. Mark wrote to the Romans to demonstrate Jesus as a suffering sir. And in order to really tell the story, you really have to fit there. The reason Mark is able to portray Jesus as a suffering servant because Mark was a servant. Y'all remember when Paul wrote in Timothy, he told him to bring Mark with you. I need Mark. Mark don't mind serving. And I found out that you got to be a good follower before you can ever become a good leader. Yeah. Now Mark, don't say anything about the birth of Jesus. Mark just pick him up when he's 30 years old. He, my heart hardly ever calls him Lord, but always calls him Master. Yeah. Y'all remember the storm of sea, don't you? Amen. You know when they had Jesus in the ship, but Jesus tried to get a little nap. The storm broke out, and they, they thought they were, they were gone. But one of them remembered that Jesus is on the ship. They said, wait, wait, wait. They said, he's sleeping in the hall. Somebody said, wake him up. <laughs> so somebody need to get him up. He's a mess now. And y'all know how they woke him up. He got up. He walked up. He spoke up. And everything shut up. <laughs> Mom says, Master, tell us all not that we perish. Calls him Lord. Whereas Mark calls him Master. In the right of the 16 chapters of Mark, 12 of them begin with the conjunction A. I don't know about y'all, but my English teacher, I ain't, I ain't took a whole lot of English. But the little bit that I did take, my English teacher told me it's, it's, it's not the proper. To begin a chapter with that. Well, it's evident that Martin goes to the same school I went to. Because the 12 of his 16 chapters began with the conjunction and. And and is what you call a connecting conjunction. And it connects what just happened with what's getting ready to happen. And, and Mark is just saying that the life of Jesus was a continuing life. It was no pause. Jesus stayed 
business. Jesus was right around the fourth chapter. Jesus on the ship trying to get some sleep, y'all. I just told you about the storm broke out. And he got up to shake that storm up. And when they got to the other side, he met a lunatic there who was possessed with legions. Yeah, y'all, y'all know the story, don't you? He, he had to cast the demons out of him. They ran out of here, ran into the pigs. Pigs ran over the cliff, drowned in the sea. People prayed for him to leave there, got back on the ship, went back to the other side. When he got on the other side, he met Jairus there. She met, he said, my daughter is at the point of death. Ma says she's at the point of death. Luke says she's dead. Matthew says she's already dead. Jesus started to Jairus' house. And on his way there, a woman reached out and touched him on the hill. And Jesus said, somebody, touch me. The disciples said, man, I don't need to go When you got pure faith, it can get something from God. And hello? Hey, but he went on to Jairus' house. Put those folks out. Raise up Jairus' daughter. All I'm saying is Jesus stayed bitch. He stayed bitch. He stayed bitch. And, and you know, if you and I, if we love the Lord, it ought to be some man. In our life. Yeah. yeah. We ought to preach and teach and evangelize and visit the prison and feed the hungry and see after the widows and the homeless and go when we don't feel like All right. Uh, for demonstrating his power 